face for tell. You've got to pay for the radio, you. Yeah. <laughs> right then. The, yeah. Hang on, I can't see you. I'm under there. Yeah. SK140. Well, yeah, SK140. Now, I'm doing all this from memory. I haven't looked at the paperwork. I don't know all this ins and outs. You're going to have to come and check for yourself, check the paperwork, uh, or at least make a phone call if you're unsure about anything that I'm saying. But I'm led to believe that I spoke to the owner of this, in fact, I'm not led to believe, I believe that I spoke to the owner of this some weeks ago, probably a couple of months ago, we were talking about it. And as far as I can establish, it's a 140 fixed head cut down to a roadster. Um, I think I'm right in saying that. And a very, very fine job's been done indeed, I can assure you. Now, the fact of the matter is, is that I know most of you out there are going to say, oh, yeah, well, it ain't genuine, is it? You know, No, it ain't a genuine XK140 Roadster, but it ain't priced as a genuine XK140 Roadster either. Um, it looks the same. It looks fantastic. Everyone has been over the moon with it and, and admired it this last couple of weeks. So there must be something nice about it. Uh, and it's about the third of the price, if not a quarter of the price, of an XK140 Roadster. And it is an XK140 Roadster, so work that out for yourself. Fabulous car, British Racing Green as you can see, chrome is wonderful, interior is superb, engine bay is virtually concourse, it's for nothing. I don't know what the guide is on the car, I know what it's worth in my own head, but that besides the point, it means, you know, means nothing to you lads. But there it is, there's some bits and pieces about it. Uh, I'm just stuck. Oh, it's yeah. now, is it? Oh, there you go. Um, so, come and have a look, you've only got a couple of days to do so. But the fact of the matter is, you're going to buy an XK140 Roadster for a quarter of the price of an XK140 Roadster. Mm. So there you go.